elderberry. Not the kind of wood that you would uh, think of uh, for making anything out of. And this piece looks particularly weathered. But I'm going to cut off uh, a section and make it into a tea light. Not sure if you know what elderberry is. We call it uh, witch's wood because apparently uh, it doesn't burn, which is uh, uh, a good property uh, for a tea light holder, of course. It has this very big fat pith running all through the through the wood. It's sort of uh, a vein. And uh, basically, uh, if this works uh, like I hope it will, then there is going to be very little turning uh, on this one. Because uh, I will abuse the pith. <laughs> to put in my worm screw. Don't laugh. Basically all the turning I want to do is flatten the bottom. So that it stands uh, more or less in this plane, and drill it out in the <coughs> drill out uh, an opening for a large tea light this size, and then uh, the most difficult part of all, the finishing. There you go, Claire. quite a bit off-center as you can see but that's not really uh, a problem because the only thing I want to do to the bottom is uh, create a parallel surface all those beautiful pieces that are currently sticking out have to stay
could have mounted it like this uh, straight away, of course. But uh, yeah, you know me. slight design change I don't like the fit of the um, of the tea light in the top of the uh, of the wood so I'm going to make a ring which I can insert there uh, to uh, to get a better fit It's the other day uh, and the, the glue has dried so the ring is now fixed uh, on the inside. It's a nice fit for the tea light so that's good but uh, the annoying thing about it is that there is a, quite a large gap all the way around and uh, I don't think uh, that looks good so yeah it's not uh, not one of my best projects uh, so far, but uh, I still don't want to give up uh, on it altogether. So I am going to make a sincere attempt to uh, save it and that I will do by filling the gap with uh, wood glue and shavings. Alright, and then uh, we let this dry for another half day and then uh, maybe I'm uh, at the point where I can start applying some finish. Here I'm back with the tea light on the lathe, not for turning but for uh, applying some sanding sewer. Yesterday I was about to give up uh, on this uh, project. 
basically because I messed up but uh, filling the gap with uh, shavings and uh, wood glue was the right decision apparently it looks a lot better now I think I'm going to call this the Witch's Tea Light because elderberry is also known here as uh, Witch's Wood and uh, I think the shape also uh, fits the name. The sanding seal has dried and you can see what I'm going to put on as a Final finish. Danish oil. It's been a while since I used it, but I think it uh, could be just a perfect uh, finish for uh, for this project. Look at that, the witch is coming to life. This is as much as the wood will take for now. I'll let that dry and uh, apply a few more coats. It's done. Three coats of Danish oil was all it took to bring the witch to life. <laughs>